organs of our body. Our body is a very complex machine. There are two parts in our body that work together. They are internal and external organs. In this chapter, we will study in detail about the internal organs of our body. Internal organs of our body. We cannot see the internal organs of our body. Heart, lungs, bones, liver, stomach and kidneys are our internal organs. Bones. There are 206 bones in a fully grown human being. All the bones of our body are together called as skeleton. The skeleton is hard and strong. It gives the body a firm shape, supports it and protects the delicate organs in our body. For example, the hard skull protects the soft and delicate brain inside it. The bones meet each other and these meeting points are called joints. These joints help our body to bend at different places and help us to do many things. Muscles There are more than 600 muscles in the human body. Muscles help the bones to move. Muscles are like elastic threads that join bones with one another. Contraction and relaxation of muscles make the bones move. As a result, we are able to walk, run, dance and play. The movement of some muscles can be controlled by us, but some others are not in our control. For example, our heart muscles keep on moving all the time and help our heart to beat. We cannot control their movement. Brain All our body activities, including heartbeat, breathing, movement, etc., are controlled by the brain. The brain is protected by the hard skull. The brain receives messages from different parts of the body with the help of bundles of thin, thread-like nerves. The brain quickly understands a message and sends out signals through nerves to different parts of the body to react accordingly. For example, when you see a car coming towards you, the nerves from your eyes take the message to the brain at a great speed. Your brain quickly realizes the danger and instantly sends messages to your leg muscles to get away. A rich supply of blood and oxygen is very essential for the brain. If oxygen supply is stopped for a few minutes, it can cause damage to the brain. Heart Our heart is a reddish-brown organ. It is protected inside our rib cage. It is actually a muscle that pumps blood to different parts of our body through a network of tubes called blood vessels. The heart collects impure blood from different parts of the body and pumps it to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood gives off the waste materials like carbon dioxide and collects oxygen. This pure blood again comes back to the heart and is pumped to the different parts of the body. The heart beats faster when our body works more because when our body works more, it needs more oxygen. Lungs There lie two spongy bags filled with air on either side of the heart. These are the lungs which help in the exchange of gases in the body. We breathe in air through our nose. The nose is connected to the windpipe and the windpipe is connected to the lungs. The lungs absorb oxygen from the air and send it to different parts of our body 
with the help of the blood. The various parts of the body use the oxygen for their various functions and give out carbon dioxide. This process of exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide is called respiration. Liver Below the rib cage on the right side of the abdomen lies a dark red organ called the liver. It is the largest internal organ of our body. The liver is called the factory of our body as it plays a very important role in most of the activities to keep the body healthy. The liver helps in the digestion of food. It makes bile which helps in digestion. It helps to keep our body temperature constant at 37 degrees Celsius. Kidneys Two bean-shaped organs called kidneys are located behind the stomach. The impurities in our body are brought by the blood to the kidneys. The kidneys filter out these impurities and they are given out in the form of urine. Stomach In the upper part of the abdomen is a J-shaped organ called the stomach. When we swallow food, it reaches the stomach through a long food pipe. When the food enters into the stomach, it expands. Here, the food is churned with the help of the stomach juices and then passed on to the small intestine. Small intestine The small intestine is a 7 meters long coiled tube. Here, the food is digested with the help of bile from the liver. The digested food is absorbed by the blood. Through blood, it reaches different parts of the body. It gives us energy to work and play. Large intestine. The undigested food goes to the large intestine. Here, water from the undigested food is absorbed by the walls of the large intestine. Then, the semi-solid undigested food called feces is passed out of the body through the anus. Summary Our body is a complex machine. We must take care of each part of our body. A supply of blood and fresh oxygen is very essential for the brain. Our heart is a muscle which works 24 hours a day. Liver is the largest internal organ of our body. In the upper part of the abdomen is a J-shaped organ called the stomach. When we swallow food, it reaches the stomach through a long food pipe. Two bean-shaped organs called kidneys are located behind the stomach. The impurities in our body are brought by the blood to the kidneys. All our body activities, including heartbeat, breathing, movement, etc., are controlled by the brain. The lungs absorb oxygen from the air and send it to different parts of our body with the help of the blood. The small intestine is a 7 meter long coiled tube. Here, the food is digested with the help of bile from the liver. The undigested food goes to the top of the large intestine. Here, water from the undigested food is absorbed by the walls of the large intestine.